Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, pretty late, dark out, and that is what we ooh, landed it. That is what we will be making today. Let's get to work. And that goes as normal. Take your knife. And another cool thing that you can do. Actually, I have another knife. This is my big, rough carving knife. Is it's kind of like the chopping technique, but so give me a sec here. I just use this big old stick. I place my knife where I want, just like that. Remove. Oops, it goes this way. Quite a bit of material. Yeah. Back to carving. Okay, and there it is carved down, and now it's time to get the sanding. No. Kind of hard to keep um what I'm doing in a frame. It's like I'll be going, and then all of a sudden I realize I'm like way out of frame, and I have to be like Nolan, stop being so selfish and share what share what you're doing. And it can be hard, so sorry if I go out of frame. Okay, and there it is all sanded out, and now we are on to the top profile. And that goes same as always. Now, I use the, to draw this out, where did it go? Um, I have a little template. It's, oh, here it is. This little guy. I made this a while ago, but this is what I based this lure off of. And kind of see anyway. Oh, there's two different ways to do the top profile. I could um, keep it like level, that's a good design, or I could taper. And normally, I do it all level, so right now, I'm gonna taper it. And there is our top pro profile. Sorry, and now it's time to carve that out. And there is our top profile, but what I'm noticing is um, it's a little fat over there, so I'm going to carve or sand that down. Okay, and so it took a while, but I got that thin down, and that's where we are. Nice and square. Now we're on to rounding it off. Whew, that was a lot of sanding, but I think I did it. Now I'm on to, um, Filling the pilot holes. Yeah. Uh, bu 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 nope. I'm doing the wood slot, not the. This is a problem at school too. Yeah, school too. I cannot talk today. Just bear with me. So, lip slot, not whatever I said. School tool. And there is our lip slot. Ta now it's time to do pilot holes and stuff. There it is with the lip, by the way. Just kidding. Okay, that's the real lip, if you can see it. Time to drill the pilot holes. Check done. Line tie, hook hanger, hook hanger. Time to make those wire connections. Second time I landed it.
Okay, and there are our three little twist wires. Time to get them fitted in our bait. And there it is with all of its stuff in. Time to do the lead hole. This time you will see the process, even though it's not even that special, of me getting the lead in there. Not lead. Safety first. Okay, and I have that carved out, and time to do what you've been waiting for. Put that in there. I should play, like, dramatic music for this clip, but I'll just... Dun, da 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 dun, da 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 Not flush yet. And that is how it's done. Time for baking soda and super glue. Oh, and by the way, I'm hesitating and questioning on whether I should do this or not, but if you think I should do a snake lure, put a comment below. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece snake lure. That'll not be a fun one for me, but all those little connections. Uh, anyway, uh, say something if that sounds interesting. I might not, though, so. Back to this that we're making, though. And just like that, it's done. Um, I'm going to glue this lip on while I'm at it. my finger to it. It's okay. I'll, I'll survive. Okay. And I'll see you once it's all sealed up. And there it is, fully sealed up, and ready for testing, and then painting. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure that this lure is going to work, because... I don't know why, because it just... It's kind of a weird shape, and... I don't know. Well, we'll see, but my instinct is telling me... Uh-uh. Yeah. I don't know. Not all lures can be perfect. To, to be very honest, um... I, part of the reason I uh, had the courage to start this channel was because I was making a ton of lures that were working really well, and then I filmed myself doing one, filmed myself doing this one, and it just failed so hard, it just did absolutely nothing in the water, it just would glide, and so I couldn't have that be my first video, so I went and did, I don't know where it went, but something that did work and I'm trying to do those but you just have to know that not everything works out and that's what happened to me especially in my first lures I should do a video where I show all my first lures that would be pretty cool wouldn't it? I don't know I think that super glue is almost dry okay and here we are ready to see if it swims oh yeah it does swim kind of subtle and erratic, but it, it swims. That's okay. I wonder if we can I think so. Okay, now we're on to painting. Okay, now here's a neat trick that I learned from a channel called The Handmade Fisherman. It's where you take this just regular, what is called, tinfoil tape, peel it off and it's sticky. And you take your mesh, and this is just a piece of bamboo. It's not preferable, but what you do, you gotta get it on a good surface, and you put it there, and you press it. Put down all your weight and roll it back and forth. And it should 
make a scale pattern on it. So that worked out pretty well. And then you can draw out, cut it out, and tape it to your lure. And actually, I did that. You've probably seen this one in the background a little bit, but to this one, that's what I'm hoping it'll look like. So, yeah, see when I'm painting. Okay, and I got those cut out. Now I'm going to tape them onto it, and then I can begin painting. Okay, and I just did a good old example of forgetful me today. And tape those on without pressing record. I am just phenomenal. Perfect. Starting with white. I started with white on the belly. And so yeah, I'm trying to do a rainbow trout-ish pattern, but it's not going to be... This actually might have to turn into a bass. Actually, I kind of like that idea. I might do that. Forget rainbow trout. This is now a, officially a bass. Yeah, I'm going to give it some black now. And now going with a black head, black back, and a black detailed line. Um, center. And that's kind of how it is. So, I mean, it kind of looks like a bass. Kind of. In its own weird, slightly twisted ways. Yeah, that is not too bad. Short but sweet. I'm calling it. You know that's not too bad. It kind of looks like a bass. I'm going to go with some more white on the belly. Otherwise, it's, I can deal with that. I think we have a very high chance of catching a fish right now. This is like prime fishing position right here. Look at the action on that thing. Amazing. Hundred percent. I wasn't really able to test it out fully, but because the pond was frozen, it's cold. I've got a lot of snow recently. 
Um, yeah. Build was okay. It didn't work the best, but... Yeah. Um, see you next time. Bye. Bye.